Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Have you ever had corn on the cob in your smoker? Well, it's delicious and it's simple. You just need some fresh corn on the cob. I remove all the husks and silk, clean it well, and make sure it's at room temperature. Then you need some nice bacon. I went to my meat counter at my grocery store and I got applewood smoked bacon and it's thick cut and this is going to be extra delicious. So the first thing you do is take your corn and you just snap them in half. Then you take a piece of bacon and you lay it on the corn and you just pull it snugly and wrap it around. And the pulling it helps it stay. Then you just set it on the rack. Be sure to take your rack out of your smoker before you begin and bring it in the house to load it up when you start your smoker. Into the smoker at 250 degrees for 45 minutes to one hour. Set up your smoker for easy cleanup before you ever turn it on. Lay a big sheet of aluminum foil on the ground in front of it. Cover the drip tray with foil and then I like to use a disposable aluminum tray where the water tray goes to catch the drips. Place two handfuls of wood chips into the wood loading tray I'm using applewood because this has applewood smoked bacon, so it'll give an extra layer of the flavor. Set your smoker at 250 degrees, allow the temperature in the smoke to rise, and then you're ready to load in your tray. Open and put it in quickly so you don't let the smoke and the temperature out. It's been about 45 minutes. It's time to check the corn on the cob. Oh yeah. The bacon is crisp. The corn is still juicy. It looks good enough to eat. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.